Hello there and welcome to the new video Power BI Shortcuts. In this video, as the name suggests, I will show you a very quick information about how you can access the shortcuts very quickly in the Power BI whenever you need it. Also, if you need to dive further into the Power BI Shortcuts, then how you can do that. Well, with that, just a quick information that this sheet is present in the description. So all of my uh, previous videos as well as all, all of my future videos will be present here since it is a live sheet so you will always have the most up-to-date information and I'm trying my best to put a single video every day so that you get most out of it from the sheet and whenever you need it you can simply search and jump to that video by using the link present in this column B right so Power BI shortcuts is the topic for today and let's go ahead in the Power BI. So here we are in the Power BI, you can be anywhere uh, uh, here in this Power BI. But if you need to access the shortcuts, you need to just press the shift and question mark. As soon as you press the question mark uh, after hitting the shift button in your Windows or in your Mac, then you will going to get this screen which will show you the keyboard shortcuts like the command and the shortcuts. So you have some of these commands to move focus between sections and things like those. Page navigation related uh, shortcut on the visual. The shortcuts are present here. The slicer accessibility option is present here. Also, if you want to dive deeper, like I said at the start of this video, here is this link where you can click and you can go to the keyboard shortcut page within the Power BI. And as you can see, it applies to Power BI desktop, not to the Power BI service. And here the same information and then further frequently used shortcuts on the visual table and metrics page navigation, slicer, selection pane, text editor, all of this is present over here. So that's something I wanted to tell you about uh, the different types of the shortcuts that is present here in this section. And I hope you will enjoy it a lot as it increases the productivity significantly. And once you are master of the shortcuts, you will see that the work which you usually complete, let's say in hours, uh, at least whatever, whatever you're completing in one hour, something you would experience complete at least five or 10 minutes less. So that's something I wanted to tell you and uh, I hope uh, you have found it useful. Now I'll meet you in the next video with the new topic.